<laughs> We're so glad he's here, Mike McDaniel. Oh, man. Coach of the Miami Dolphins heading into year number two. What's that old oh, man oh, for? Oh, man. Well, oh, what is that old man for? Yeah. I'll tell you what that old man for. Laird. Sorry. It is. It is Laird. You're the best dressed coach. You came in here looking like Johnny Miami with great great outfit i just don't see any coaches like that so i was gonna go oh man oh. this guy look at him miami coaches money that's I mean, what i was coming in can't with. hide money <laughs> that's right not trying to <laughs> spend a lot of life poor <laughs> yeah. that's right it's a very good answer yeah. right you got some money yeah. you might as well spend it yeah. yeah i hear you okay good way to start it <laughs> still driving the rs7 or have you upgraded already no rs7 still figure out how to lock it um, yes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I so I didn't even know that's, that's, that it's got that's the right. finger thing. I got a hard time from some of my uh, friends. Look at you, like, yeah. rich son of a yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 Hey, car. if he's gonna lean into it, I am too. I, I spent yeah. a, my, a lot of my life poor too, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you just didn't get caught on television not being able to work it like yeah, I did. That's true. I just I yeah. admitted it to people, and they're like, "Don't you realize that there's a button there to press?" It's like, "No, I didn't." You carry around. I hate the key fob. I hate not having a key to put. This is old school. Yeah. I want to put a key in the ignition yeah. and turn. I got out of that thing the other day and it's like, is it off or is it not <laughs> off? Like, what happens if I walk away and it's running? Like, I just, mm -hmm. I, I no, know there, if there's an, a key in the ignition, I know it's on, I know it's off. There is recourse to that, right? It's um, buy a car that's made in the 90s. I, true. I true. have not gone <laughs> that true. direction. Oh, true. here we go. Here there we it go. Is. Got it. There it is. Oh, Whoa, look at that. Man. It's that Woo, button right there. Baby. All right, we got checked. Just make sure that's yep. oh, first I mean, on the oh, job. Oh, there's the Who's week the one. guy adapted his job enough to put that on? Like, I don't <laughs> want to be accountable for that. I want it to be a lo <laughs> of lore. <laughs> no. uh, do you do you even like when you get see clips like that or the one you were mic'd up in? Do you even do you lose yourself in those moments? Do you know you're still mic'd up, or you just go, I don't even care, and just go? Um, I, I mean. When you're mic'd up um, to coach a national, national or NFL game and to call it, you can't really think about like you don't. I mean, that is about as candid as I can be. Yeah. Um, right. Edited because I do say a lot of expletives. Words. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You um, do. <laughs> but but yeah, honestly, that's just uh, me being me. Um, I think it's hilarious that people find it entertaining to some degree. Yeah. Um, sure, some more than others, but. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a, a little day in the life of um, probably all the things that my wife rolls her eyes about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> it, it really did feel like you had five different seasons Holy last cow. year. Mm -hmm. You know, hot start, and then it cools off, and then you're at it again. And um, when, when you look back on that first season, what's the big takeaway for you? Um, I'm, I'm very happy with uh, where we're able – to get our team through all the adversity. Um, I, I, I really like where we're at um, with our young nucleus moving forward. Um, I think that was unbelievably beneficial experience. Um, you know, you're, you, you're talking about what you're chasing all the time, mm. right? Um, but th that gave it tangible legs. You know, to feel the atmosphere of a playoff game, it's different. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's an odd... Um, way of work where you're working six months straight to get that opportunity you're probably pretty tired whether you're a coach or a player um but it's all worth it yeah, you know right. um that those uh you know obviously you'd try to you'd prefer to have the path of least resistance to some degree um we did make it challenging on ourselves um but at the same time i think it was an invaluable experience for our team moving De forward. Definitely, I mean, great year in a lot of ways. It really was. And, I mean, yeah, you had to deal with a lot. We're going to kind of unpack that. But all right, so for you yourself, like what was the, the biggest, uh, you know, challenge or hurdle or thing you didn't expect, you know, becoming a head coach? Was there anything that just was like, oh, man, I didn't really realize I was going to have to deal with this all the time or anything that jumps out um, in that manner? You know, I've been – uh, to be honest, I was just so fortunate to, you know, work with Kyle Shanahan for so long and yeah. then have um, experience with so many different um, young coaches who, um, while I was friends with them, were peers and then they became head coaches. Right. Um, so that really gave me kind of a feel. Yeah. Um, and to understand what the job truly was. Uh, I, I don't think... I don't think regardless 
until you're in the situation that you can truly grasp um, the gravity yeah. um, across the board. Um, and I, I, I couldn't have prepared myself for the... Uh, and what do you mean by that, the gravity across there? Just the nonstop, constant, it's mm -hmm. always something? Oh, like, what, what do you mean by that? Like, well, that's a great question. Okay. <laughs> um, the, uh, it, it, it's more, uh, I don't know, the um, responsibility I felt yeah, right. towards really anybody that would cheer Dolphins for all the people in the building, um, first and foremost, really the players. Um, but then that extends itself to the, the, you know, an organization that is so hungry that, it, um, you know, to return to um, their glory days and, right. and being in charge of help, helping facilitate a group of people, it, you know, it just encompasses your, um, your daily life. Uh, anytime your eyes are open, it's what you're thinking about. And when your eyes are closed as well. So, yeah. um, it, it's all encompassing. Um, but what a tremendous responsibility. I feel so fortunate, um, that, uh, you know, being, being given the opportunity by our by our owner and um, general manager and um, everybody a part of that process and you know take it super serious and it's very important to me a lifelong dream so um, it's let's just say it's easy to be motivated yeah, yeah that's right how have you changed in the last year um, I'm not sure if you guys noticed I'm three inches taller. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what people tell me. Um, I, I try not to change, uh, only because, yeah. Uh, I think, I think if I change, I'm kind of allowing the the job to overcome it, that. They hire, you know, people hired me to be me. They didn't hire me to be a different version of me. Um, and, you know, I'd, I'm not really good at acting it as other people. Um, I'm better at myself. Haven't totally refined it yet. Um, but I, I, it's hard for me to, to forecast a situation where I would, you know, I'd hope people would, would say, hey, there's the same guy. Um, you know, I've just, I have more responsibility for sure. But, um, you know, I, I think I've, at every walk of, of my career, I've tried to take the, the same seriousness and, you know, honor to the position. So, um, I, 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 I hope if you're trying to insult me, no, no, you can right. be like, no. you can be like, I remember when we, you were, you right. now you're not, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, no, and, and there's I, different ways that. you can change. I mean, mm -hmm. you can change in a good way, you can change in a bad way. And mm -hmm. you just, you seem like the same guy a year later and, and that's a good thing. Yeah. We, we think so. All right. So you didn't huh. change. Yeah. We think so. Oh, you didn't change at all. It was a floating compliment. Yeah, it was a floating compliment. Wow. I think it was a real compliment. Dude, first time on set right. with Mr. Florio. Yeah, I know. Not nearly as bad as you described oh, it. Oh, I know, right? Right. He's just <laughs> way tougher. I got time. Uh, I got time. <laughs> get to yeah. know him a little bit. Are you bit. younger? <laughs> well, Am I younger, younger than who? Butt? Younger than no, who? Just <laughs> younger than the last time I'm I saw three, you? <laughs> I'm, I'm three inches younger than I was last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just in a vortex now. Hey, I don't even know um, where we're at. <laughs> no, we're going to get back on topic here, okay? Um, easily, you too. I'll you're too smart for me. I'm just dumb and want to ask you football questions, okay? Both of you are too smart Let's for get me. serious. Let's get serious. serious I've, been, I've been saving with this two, I, You had to deal with the, one of the craziest situations in the NFL this year. Just that in itself. What was that like? Where you all of a sudden, like, where's Mike McDaniel? has got to be Dr. Concussion here and talk to the world about the medical process. That had to be annoying and all-encompassing like um, you were talking about. Uh, the way I look at it, it was, you know, times of turmoil is when the organization needs you as a leader the most. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, whatever that is, you know, for for individual players, for the entire organization, for the football team. I I, I saw it at the in the moment as a, a time that I needed to rise to the occasion. That brings purpose to the position of head co head coach. I think. Um, yeah, ultimately, it's it's not something that you feel like you're a hundred. You can't really predict that. Yeah, of course not. Um, but I mean, the, the biggest thing was, you know, I'm a human being that cares about people that 
uh, you know, that's why I got into the business. Mm-hmm. Um, is I, I thought I could positively affect, um, you know, people aspiring to make this their career. So, um, you know, anytime things happen in that nature, it's it's tough. It yeah. feels. I mean, you are heavily invested, um, and, and you you just want to do what's right. You try to navigate uh, what that is as best you can. Um, and it, you know, I didn't I didn't get into this. I didn't accept the job. I didn't get into the profession um, under any guise that it was easy. And you know, I, I think there's a certain amount of responsibility you have to take understanding that hey you know um it's a bottom line business and when certain things happen somebody's got to pay a pony up and you know uh, i think you take the good with the bad and understand what that means just in general um it's a tough position it's not for everybody um which makes it that much more uh i don't don't know um something that you want to be a part of or awesome yeah, yeah. and just want to I, I really really want to be good at it in yeah. the worst way so okay uh, let's spin it forward for 2023 because we saw what happened to Tua last year with the two diagnosed concussions both from his head hitting the ground he said a few weeks ago he's putting judo into his routine to learn how to fall from your perspective what are you going to try to coach him to do how are you going to try to help him avoid getting into these situations where he's striking his head and possibly emerging with a concussion no, so uh, the ground is is not his friend. So we're trying to uh, uh, av- avoid that opponent. That's what he's. That's been the um, the the correlating factor, really, um, from this past season. So uh, jujitsu, um, I think he 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 threw judo out there, and but it's really jujitsu that he that he's that we've kind of um, focused. Yeah. off-season atten- attention and um i think it's like anything else um if all contributing factors if the people um teaching them the the trade are all in if they're doing their due diligence and the person involved is doing their due dil- diligence you have something to work with um from uh you know so far so good i, I probably couldn't have conceived a, a better plan that you know that they've really come up with and um, it's very concerted. Um, it makes know. them what? Think about how to roll on the ground? Like it, explain it, to, to it, the viewers it, a little. It's, it's like... Yeah. Um, Just how to absorb the ground, the blow, whatever. It's, it's how to continue. Like no one trains you yeah. for anything after your follow through. Right. Right? Yeah. So it's training that. Right. Um, and how to... Go with it. Right. And then right. really dissipate force... Right. And um, you know, there's there's some strengthening in in the neck and core that's involved in that, but sure. also just reps um, that you, when you really really think about it as a quarterback, you're not you're you're saving all those reps for the game on how Tied to out. fall. Right. So um, kind of really attacking that and seeing different creative ways that we can come up yeah. with incorporating that into um, even beyond the strict off season but into um otas or training camp so that you know your quarterbacks aren't just getting all of the experience live action getting tackled there's right. got to be a, a better way which is what we're we're really chasing right now yeah yeah so you've got a decision to make coming up by may early may mm-hmm. fifth year option yep. or a long-term contract or let him play out his contract like the giants did with daniel jones last year w- where are you leaning right now or I could participate in Dancing with the Stars. You could do that, too. That's, that's, that's option, option four. That's option um, four. And, and I hope you pick option four. But if option four is off the table, which of the other three are we leaning well, toward? Well, do you? Um, <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think that's something that, um, you know, that is incredibly important um, to the franchise and to the individual. And here's the bottom line. Both parties are really trying tooth and nail to make sure that um, two is around for a long time playing at a very high level. So with that end in, in sight, you know, there's a, a couple different ways that we can handle it. Um, both Chris and I have had um, extensive talks and will continue to do so, but the bottom line is, is that um, our, our ultimate decision will be what's best 
to promote that, um, which is, you know, I think it's in its simplest form. You know, we, we've identified um, very high level quarterback play that yeah. we want to be in uh, be a part of. Right. Yeah. Because um, that's how I avoid dancing with the stars. <laughs> yeah, right. We don't want you. That's not a good career move, dancing no. with the stars. It's not. That means you're kind of towards the end of your career, I think. You don't want to go there yet. All right? Oh, yeah. So, no, I, I, I'm not. I'm hoping not to ne- necessitate a career revival. Yeah, okay, good. That's right. Exactly right. right. All right. So part of this right now and what you're living in, do hit on this a little. Tyree Kill. Mm-hmm. Just like. I mean, we know how awesome he is, but I think I've heard people in the past talk about, like, when you see him in person and you get him in practice and you just go, oh, my gosh, this is unreal. Talk about, like, him, how shocking it is seeing him every day, what he does for your offense, the threat of Tyreek Hill. Well, like, you know, by all um, measures, this is a normal-sized human being-ish. Yeah, Yeah, he's pretty yoked up. But, like, I mean, I think I am a fraction taller than him. Right. So to – I think thinking about that and then understanding that this dude competes at a different level than you've ever seen, um, that, that the residual effect on all players involved in mm. any sort of competitive activity. They see him working and they get It's after unbelievable. It. Right, right. Um, and I've been around elite workers. Yeah. Um, but you talk about – you can see – how he stands out from every other um, person roughly his size on the planet yeah. because that his edge, his competitiveness, um, really renders complete um, – I mean, he goes after it in practice, yeah. and he challenges people, and he um, – uh, that's what you need from your best players yeah. um, to maximize the talent that you have on your roster. So – and, and when I when I say that this dude can run any route that exists, and then some, I mean we were able to last off, off season try some routes that like you were probably like I've never tried this before, but we, we'll do it. <laughs> and we didn't know how it timed up with the quarterback or right. whatever. It was just like, and <laughs> yeah. you know um, I think you guys saw some of that um, during the regular season for sure. Um, and, and there's. That, that's what was really cool is to see a guy that had been, I mean, all six years of his career, I think, he was in the Pro Bowl. Yeah. Um, I think half of which, um, at least two, but at least around half were first te- or all pro selections. Those are hard things to do. Um, how does a guy, how does a guy exist like that in the National Football League. You have to be talented, but there has to be a drive. Something else, right. That, that doesn't is unmatched. We can listen to you all day. They're telling me we got to go. So I'm going to drive my car down to Miami, and we'll find a track. And we'll go oh, damn, something. I like Wait, it. It's over? Go. We got to go. It's over. It's done. He's the live TV Daniel. show. But He's you're having me coach. back, right? No, not, no. not today. No. <laughs> we'll have you <laughs> anytime you want, anytime we'll after. hook up a Zoom, and you can join us. <laughs> yes. Anytime you want. Uh, yeah. right. I have a feeling you're not going to call us, and we're going to call you, uh, though. I'm not nearly as impressive on Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.